friends welcome back to my channel i've got a fun one for you today we are going to do a speed build of a cute family home this cute family home that i'm gonna style like it is the 90s i'm gonna get right to it and then i'm gonna explain all my ideas to you so while we build the exterior here let me tell you about all of my plans as you may or may not know, The Sims 4 is about to release a new expansion pack called Growing Together, which is a generation style, family gameplay style pack. And if you know me, you know this is my favorite type of gameplay in The Sims, and I actually couldn't be more excited for it. Along with the pack, they're also releasing an update that's going to bring infants to the game, and it's going to be a new life stage between the object babies that we have currently and toddlers. So that's going to be extremely cute because, as you know, the babies we have in The Sims right now literally just can't leave their little bassinets. They're just stuck there forever. So I'm really excited to actually have more like baby stuff to do. So because of these updates, I want to start a new Let's Play in The Sims. And I kind of want to base it around my timeline of like existence, I guess. So I want to play with a family and have kids and have generations gameplay. But I also want to integrate like a decades challenge to it. So I was born in the late 90s. So I want to start with like a newly married couple and pretend it's like the early 90s. And I'm putting that in like air quotes because obviously we're just going to be pretending. Uh, but we'll start them there, have them grow in their careers. And then when they start having kids, it'll be like the late 90s. And then as the kids grow up, we'll redecorate the house, move all, move along in the timeline with like technology and style as the family is growing and the kids are getting older. So we'll kind of like redecorate stuff, give them new technology, change the house up. It's going to be super fun. So I'm so excited about this. I think it's going to be really, really fun. So I hope you join me along for the ride there. We'll have to do a little bit of pretending because obviously they start default with like cell phones and stuff in the game. So we'll just ignore that and have them just like not use them as much as possible. But before I start, I'm probably going to do some like CC shopping, see if I can find anything that'll help us like integrate ourselves better into those time frames so that we're more like in it, if that makes any sense. So anyways, bringing us back to the house, we're finishing up the exterior here. For the outside, I kind of just did what I always do, which is look on Pinterest for a while at cute home exteriors and then find one that inspires me and use that as my inspiration. I love a good craftsman or like suburban style home with a cute little front porch. And so that is what I went with for this. I don't know if I would say it's like a super 90s exterior but honestly I kind of feel like this style is pretty timeless so maybe it is maybe it is and maybe in the future they'll like repaint the siding or get a new roof or like update the windows or something so you never know you never know also I did give myself a budget for the house I was thinking that the sims could start off with 30,000 simoleons, which I know is more than they usually start off with, but also houses were cheaper in the 90s and more families could like afford a starter home. So we can just pretend that their money goes a little bit further. And if you're wondering if I stuck to that budget, the answer is no, I did not. No, I did not because I couldn't stop myself and I spent far too much money. So, you know, you know how it goes. I just, I just kept going and I couldn't stop. And I was like, whoops, I'm way over budget now. So as an answer to that, I'm thinking we could give them kind of like a mortgage or like a, a fake loan, I guess. And we'll just keep track of it. I think in the end, the house ended up being like 45,000 simoleons. So we can just give them however much they need to get started with and then we'll just like pretend that they've taken out a loan and we could subtract the extra from their bills whenever they're due so that they can pay it off. Nothing like a good amount of debt to just like get you started in the world, right? Like there's no better way to start off than just with a mountain of debt. And the worst part is like I didn't even fully decorate this house. Like I literally only decorated the living room, kitchen, breakfast nook. I gave them like bathrooms and a bedroom, but the rest of the rooms are literally just empty. <laughs> so they don't even have any wall decor because I couldn't afford it. And also I wanted to decorate it with like their family photos and stuff because I'm kind of hoping that there'll be more family photo gameplay in the new pack and also maybe some new like build items that are cuter um, or some cute like 
you know, family items that I can use in the house to decorate. So it's a little, a little empty inside right now, and yet still over budget, so you know. Also, one thing I should note is I do plan to transplant this house into the new world when the game comes out because I really want to see it and I think it's going to be the perfect like place to do our let's play and do the game play in. So I'll probably go into and make the new townies in that world like fit the time frame and everything too, which is going to be really fun. Okay, back to the house. We're working on landscaping. I wanted to give the house some nice curb appeal and nice landscaping because I feel like people were like really big into their yards in the 90s and early 2000s. And as always, I went with debug landscaping because God only knows how much more expensive this house would have been if I hadn't done that. I went with like a nice curving pathway up to the house and some like massive planter beds on the side. Um, I really just did my usual landscaping though, just like piling on a bunch of plants that I liked until the flower beds looked full and had lots of color in them and looked pretty. I didn't end up giving them any sort of backyard, but I figure that's something we can do later in the Let's Play because there's no fence or anything. It's just literally like open to a bunch of grass, but you know what? It's fine. They'll be okay. Once they have kids though, they might want to like secure that a little bit more because it's a little like not safe, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to make it through. Also, I spent literally so much time doing this. It was ridiculous. Like I spent so much time on the landscaping, sifting through like the debug items. It's so bad. And then I changed up the exterior a little bit and put in some lights along the pathway to just like light up the house when you walk up to it at night and gave ourselves a little front porch light as well to finish off the exterior. And then I finish it up and I was like, we're done with the exterior before I spend a penny more because I already knew I was going to be like way over budget. Okay, so buckle up because the interior is where it really starts to like transport us back in time. It took me quite a long time to figure out a floor plan because I was going off my memories of the time and I was literally a toddler in the 90s, so like not a whole lot of memory to go off of. <laughs> One thing I know we really despised though was open concept living. We were just not interested in it at all. We just wanted to be closed off in each room, so that is what I went with for a design. I also lean into the idea that houses just had like awkwardly placed half walls and like doors that led into other rooms for just like unnecessary reasons. And then for the kitchen, I made it a galley kitchen of course, and the counters had to be brown. There was no other option. I also gave it one of those half wall situations where the kitchen's like kind of open to the breakfast nook, except it's actually just a window. Like it's not an island or anything. You can't sit there and eat at it. It's just a window and it's not functional and I love it. Also, lucky for me, the appliances that were the most retro looking were also the cheapest, so you'll love to see it. And then in classic me fashion, I struggled with the upper cabinet placement for some reason. I don't know why I like always feel like my upper cabinets look weird, but then when I look back on them, I'm like, actually, they're literally fine. Like, why are you panicking? I, I don't know. I literally have no explanation. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Also, can somebody tell The Sims to make the stairs easier to use because they're literally so finicky and it's the worst. You have to like put them outside to turn them around and then they just wouldn't do what I wanted and it took me so long to get them the right way around for no reason. And then I had this entire saga, which you're watching now, where I'm trying to make a mudroom because I'm trying to make the back door be a mudroom, but then it made the breakfast nook inaccessible and then I had to literally just move everything around. So I moved all the walls and everything like that. And then I ended up just moving the stairwell over so that I could make more room for myself because it was the only thing that I could think of. But I think it worked out because I really wanted a mudroom. Like, I don't know why I didn't actually have one growing up, but I feel like they just really like speak family home if that makes any sense like i feel like in the movies and stuff you like always see mud rooms and like these family homes and i was like you know what we need one we need one and then the back door just goes out into this like grass expanse that is the backyard because like i said earlier there is currently no backyard for these sims they're gonna have to just make their own way with that because i can't help them they're gonna have to figure that out on their own and then I did just like cut this corner off the side of the wall because this is going to be the living room and it was like way too big and I didn't know how to fill it so I just moved everything over and just cut off the room. But I think it actually worked out because it gives the back of the house a little more like definition. It's like before it was like sad and just like one giant flat wall. So yeah. Okay, and then I got so excited to decorate the living room. I was like, okay, fireplace in the middle and then a TV stand at the corner with this like teeny tiny 90s TV on it. 
And then I put in this extremely patterned base game couch because I literally never use it because it's a lot to look at visually, but I feel like this couch has been waiting for its moment to shine and this was it. This was the moment for this couch. And then of course I put in some thick ass bulky curtains because nothing says 90s more than thick pattern curtains that are also just like draped to the side. I do kind of wish they had more pattern to them because I feel like that was kind of a thing back then, but it's okay. We still love them and I'm still gonna use them throughout the rest of the house. And same thing with this lamp. I kind of wish it was like had more patterns, but you know what? This game's not designed for the 90s, so maybe that's why. Also, I apologize how chaotically I build houses. Like I'm literally all over the place. I can't stick to one thing. I was decorating the living room and now I'm building the exterior fireplace for some reason. Like, can we like stick to one thing at a time? But when I'm building, I just all of a sudden get the idea for something and then I just have to go do it or else I forget. So I'm just all over the place. I apologize. It's fine. Oh, and see, we're back in the living room again, finishing that up. I put in this oval rug because I'm pretty sure I owned this exact same one when I was a kid. So I was like, we have to use this. And then another pattern rug for the living room to finish it out. And now we put in the flooring and the wallpaper and I love this part so much. The house I lived in when I was little legit had green carpet and salmon wallpaper. Like what on earth were we thinking? It's the most clashing of colors possibly ever, but it's so nostalgic to me. And I was like, yes, this is it. This is the thing that pulls everything together. And honestly, I feel like this alone brings the house back in time as well. And also, why did we put carpet in like every single room? Like I feel like nowadays it's like wood floor or concrete in every room, but honestly, it's kind of boring. Petition to bring back colored carpet in houses. I had a ton of fun decorating this downstairs though. The 90s were a wild time for decor. Like I really, we just, we leaned into patterns everywhere and just like clashing colors and we just like accepted it. We're like, this is it. This is the thing that we're doing. And then I just made the kitchen just like generally brown. Linoleum for sure, no tile. Linoleum, it was cheaper. It was the move, had to be done. Okay, so this is where you'll start to see I'm not decorating every single room. I'm just doing the ones that I think the Sims will actually end up using like right away when they first move in. So they got a little breakfast nook to eat at and I gave them like a small downstairs half bath as well for like guests to use and stuff. I just, I decorated things very simply or I guess like as simply as I could with all the patterns and colors that I'm using, but you know, you know what I mean. I didn't put a whole lot of wall art or anything up because I really want to fill the house with the things that they can get from their careers and like with family photos and things that are like for this family, I want it to feel like lived in. Like I don't want it to be like a pre-decorated house. I want it to be for like this family that we're playing with and make it feel like it's theirs. You know what I mean? I am just putting some basic things up though, like the bulky curtains everywhere. And I don't put a dining room table in this room, but I do put the light fixture that goes over the table, you know, so it'll be there waiting for them when they can afford a table. I'm hoping at least with the downstairs and hopefully with the upstairs as well, we can leave a lot of room for renovations over the years so it can really feel like we're updating the house we started in rather than building entirely new houses for each of the new generations. Also, okay, I did lie a little bit though because I did put some bathroom clutter in. I simply couldn't resist because I love the clutter kits and they bring so much more life to my houses and they bring me so much joy. So like, I, I had to, I had to, I'm so sorry. I'm not entirely sure what my plan is yet, but I'm thinking I wanna really focus on the kids in the series because now that we have the parenthood pack, the high school pack, the university pack, and now the growing together pack as well, I feel like there's so much we can do to give our Sims like full lives that we can follow them through like their full lives. So I'll probably play on like normal lifespan, but I may use MC Command Center and make it a little bit longer than normal so we can really fill out the stories for everyone. I am thinking though, I'm gonna follow them to high school and like take them to college and really do all the things we possibly can to fill out their lives. There's also this new dynamic in the game that lets you adjust what the Sims relationships are with each other. Like you can decide like, are the siblings gonna have a close relationship or do they like fight a lot or something like that? So that's super fun. <laughs> I feel like that's really good for like this specific type of gameplay. 
I'm also thinking too, when I make the original, like the parent Sims for this family, I'm also gonna build out their families a little bit so that when the kids come along, they'll already have like grandparents and aunts and uncles and stuff as part of their family. And then we can have like family gatherings and like holidays and stuff. And with the neighborhood stories, like if those are turned on, the aunts and uncles may have their own kids in their own respective families. And then we'll have like cousins and stuff and it'll be literally so cute. Ugh. It's gonna be so fun, I can't wait. It's only like two weeks away, but it feels like it's literally so far away. I can't even like, I'm, I'm not ready. Well, I, I am actually super ready, but you get it. Okay, I got really distracted, but here we are. We're decorating the upstairs and we're decorating the master bathroom now. There wasn't a very good like shower for to be on theme, so I just had to make do with what I had, but it's fine. A nice tub in and then it, I forgot to put this downstairs I think I go back and put it in later but the little rug around the toilet it's a classic I feel like nobody has those anymore but man who wants cold toes you know what I mean on your linoleum floor you really want cold toes on there I don't think so and then I think I, I did put like bathroom clutter in here as well because again like I just I simply couldn't stop myself it's just it is what it is you know had to put in the bathroom clutter. I love this like from the clutter kit too, the like used looking towels. Like I think it's just like so silly. Like yeah, it just makes it look lived in. It's great. I love it so much. I didn't go like super overboard with the clutter though. I just put a little bit. But as ever, The Sims is like really obnoxious and it's hard to like get your clutter where you want it. So we're dealing with that. And then for the bedroom, I went with like a blue and yellow theme, which I actually love because I was texting my mom about the 90s and telling her how it was silly that our house had green carpet and pink walls. And she was like, you know what else was a big color thing was blue and yellow. And I was like, that's perfect because I actually made the bedroom blue with like a yellow dresser. So actually that worked out super well because apparently blue and yellow was big, big pattern for the 90s. I may actually go in later and like change this rug to be yellow as well because maybe we'll just take it even more bold. But it, for the video, for the purposes of this video, I did not. So just pretend like I did and in the future it will be yellow potentially when we start playing. But for now it's not. And then I did give them like a little stereo because I was like, you know what, they do, they need some entertainment, I guess, a little bit. So we'll give them some music. And then the room on the far end of the hallway, I'm going to probably make into like an office. So that'll be perfect. The last thing I did, uh, I just wanted to give a bathroom sort of prepared for the kids. I want to give them like a Jack and Jill bathroom because it's a classic. You know what I mean? It's a classic. A Jack and Jill bathroom for the kids. Do houses like have those anymore? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. And I did decide to put in a laundry room. I may regret this decision once I actually start playing the Let's Play, but you know what? We'll see. For now, it's in there. I put in the laundry baskets and everything, so we shall see. Because I feel like every time I play with the laundry, it's like all I ever do is do the laundry, which is actually pretty accurate to real life. But in The Sims, it's just, it's kind of annoying. But you know what? It's fine. All right, y'all. So that is the finished build. We're going to take a little tour here. We're going to head inside. So we are going to take a gander up our little garden steps here. We've got a lovely looking front yard. Well, well manicured lawn. Everything is looking beautiful and in season. In the front door, we've got a little half bathroom for guests on the left hand side here. Across the hall, we've got an empty dining room that will soon be filled. And then our little galley kitchen that's nice and brown toned. It's just so beautiful. Along with our little breakfast nook for eating at. Living room with the patterned couches of old and the wonderful curtains. And then up the stairs here, we've got all of our bedrooms. So we'll go straight into the master bedroom because that's the most important and the only decorated one. It's nice and blue and yellow and it's got its own big old master bathroom here for the parents to enjoy. We've also got a little laundry room here because we hate ourselves apparently. And then an empty bedroom, nice little Jack and Jill bathroom for the kids. And then this other room we'll probably make into like an office, maybe a bedroom someday. 
And that is the finished build, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited about this Let's Play and actually playing with these Sims. So if you want to join along for those videos, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can be part of it. I will start making those videos as soon as the pack comes out and I am extremely excited. So until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye.